combination is Yeah, combination is working really well. Um, you know, young guys fitting really well, and you know, it's good having you know good leaders around them as well. How old are you feeling out there? <laughs> yeah, pretty old. Uh, I was in there doing medicals, and about eight of the debutants walked in, and I had to get out of there. I felt a bit. Uh, I'm only 27, but I did feel a bit old, so <laughs> I had to go find the older crew. What effect do they have on the side? I think they bring a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of excitement to the side, which is a, which is a plus on um, for our side. Um, you know, people are already riding us off, but um, you know, at the end of the day, we've got a job to do in this tournament, and um, you know, it starts this Saturday. Can you talk to us a little bit about um, Dylan Walker? I mean, you've played with him all year. What does he bring to a team like this? I think, you know, he just brings that little bit unknown X factor to him, to himself, and to the team. So, you know, the. With Dill, he's, um, he's one of those exciting machines that can um, turn up anywhere on any place. So he's just one of those kids that loves being out there and loves playing footy. And, you know, um, he thoroughly deserves his spot on his side. And, um, yeah, he's just really enjoying camp. You're saying he's in your side? What's that, sorry? He's in the side officially? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying he's really, you know, running around out there and really enjoying his time. He's seen a better talent at that age. I mean, for the skills that he's got and the way he plays the game. Yeah, he can uh, fit in anywhere. Um, you know, you've... We put him in wing centre, five eight. Um, he's done a pretty good job for us when, uh, you know, when Luke Kiri was out for us early in the year for Rabbitohs. But uh, you know, we'll just see how he goes. Um, right now, he's uh, he's in the he's in the back line throughout this tournament. So you know, we got a lot like a number of uh, young kids. So we we'll have to wait and see. How are your levels of, of interest and enthusiasm? You played a lot of footy. Oh, it's always um, exciting times to be you know in the Australian side, and you know. Um, there's been a lot of negativity about boys pulling out, but they pulled out for the right reasons. And, um, you know, we, like I said at the start, we've got a job here to do throughout this tournament. And, um, you know, it's, like I said, it starts on Saturday. What's the team change been focusing on most so far? Oh, it's mainly been our defence. Um, that's what we've been um, solely focusing on. Um, we know in Test Match Football that D actually wins the games. And uh, we did that in World Cup, and, you know, that's what won us the Anzac Test and, you know, in the um, in that back end of that half. Disappointing Isaac's not playing, but they're, they're very dangerous, the Kiwis, aren't they, Greg? You know, you know they can turn it on. Yeah, um, that's what they did to us in Sydney earlier in the year, and um, they're just exciting young talent. doesn't matter who's in their side. They turn up to play, and you know, we've got to be ready for it. Opportunity to play fullback, mate, is something that you've wanted for a while? Um, something that I've been thriving for, but you know, it's a bit hard when you've got Billy Slater in that, in that number one jersey. So, you know, um, I'm just going to take me opportunity and you know, just um, really embrace that, and you know, just hopefully hold on to it. But end of the day, I'm just happy to be in this, be in this Aussie side, no matter what number of jersey it is. Do you see it as a chance to cement yourself as a long-term fullback? Um, the best thing about me, I've got age on my side. Um, you know, um, I think Bill's in his 30s, and I'm only 27. So, like I said, it's uh, it's um, it's got a few, you know, a few more years yet. Um, but end of the day, it's just uh, got to go back to your club and perform to get this spot. He's great mates, mate. But how do you feel about that? The possibility that you could push him out of that that spot? Oh, look. At the end of the day, you know, he'll solve himself out at, um, in the long run. Um, at this point of time, he's you know he would have been picked number one if he didn't pull out for in, through injury. So, you know, um, like I said, it's just um, it's got all unfolded as the, um, as the years go on. In the back line, the Kiwis are even dangerous. To be honest, I don't even know who their side is um, <laughs> or what their squad is. Uh, after the, um, after my last game, I just took time away from forty and just thoroughly mentally, um, you know, I had a break. How weird is it not having Billy or Darius? Yeah, it's a bit weird, but at the same time, like I said, we've got a lot of young kids in here who had good value to our side as well. well you mentioned you've got a few years on your on your left in your career, and uh, in light of the Jared Hayne decision earlier in the week, uh, is that something that maybe uh, you've had a think about uh, down the track? Yeah, I always keep the doors open. Um, you know, later in your career, you look at different opportunities and you always want to push those doors open and see what's on the other side. So, you know, I'm open to it, but at this point in time, I'm still contracted with South and still staying in the game. When you say you're open to it, are you open to NFL or anything? I'm open to anything. Um, you know, um, I don't know about the NFL move, um, but yeah, in the, the day, it's just... Um, that's a long way down the track, but I'm still open to um, anything. Is that because you look for challenges, or is, is that what drives you? Yeah, I think that's what that drives any athlete. Um, they want to pursue pursuing any um, other other codes of the sport is um, to be the best, and like you said, a challenge. So it's um, 
with the Jarrah thing, he's going over there as a challenge and, you know, hope for the best for him. Do you follow the NFL? No, I don't even watch it, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I do take a bit of interest in it, but not uh, not full on like uh, some other boys do. Greg, with uh, John Thurston up here, have you noticed a difference in Cooper Crump, some more leadership from him? No, nah, Coop's always been the same same follow, even with JT, um, even if JT was a um Coop's the um obviously the the more vocal one where JT just plays off the top of his head and just uh follows follows the ball around like a little puppy dog. But uh you know, having J T not having ease, you know, you do sort of miss that character around him, but with Cooper he's uh like I say he's always been the vocal one. Did they change No, he, no, he hasn't. Um, I think the name gets the side gets named later on today. So, you know, um, there certainly will be different you know, faces in there, as you can tell by the squad. I know Sammy Thardy out there. Is he really sick, or is he just off having a latte somewhere? I think he's off having a latte. We got a pretty big day, so I think the big <laughs> five will never rest. <laughs>